welcome another wonderful time with Mr. FP Mensa. I call him the master because he takes you back to your roots. He takes you back to your foundation. He gives you the real meaning of the things that is creating a lot of confusion in the system. And I think that any time I meet him, I learn so much. So please pay attention to what we're going to discuss. We're talking generally about spirituality. When you hear the word spirituality, what comes to mind? That's what we are discussing today. Spirituality. Is it something that we have to be scared of? If not, then we must learn. I'll be right back as we start the conversation. Spirituality, general, anything spirituality. We want to talk about spirituality. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I'll be right back. Gold Figure Transport and Engineering Services. She, nano, commercial Gold Figure Transport and Engineering Services. And Kadia Yeme. She, omudi, u from Sisiya se, u pa bo, se quarry dust, quarry stone, and na se, u pe building materials sa, and tem param di amaun. She, kwe kukla kache me se, na daya wo si no, na wo se den kutesika, na so, u chweche si kaka kakra kakra for building materials sa, e brosu ye na anu, en omdi ni nina brene ne, we sinin da etima ne huwa jono. Gold figure transport and engineering services, omu o trak sa ke siya, e chwe anu yane brewa, e haupi ye ni hu, omu bo onsu da form bo ko, u si gane no sumpo a kakra kakra na on be boa mo osu dan ya asum gym good figure mo ye number 1 ope blocks types how do you na be o ye bia free yen good figure ye number 1 free number no Tabriwiti if you will be a good year and more. Now, Pomo Jintra, can any anonymous one? I would not name me. A boom, my friend said Dido. Sad Dido, you know, Doctor Saba, a brute nana, and one no more ne, or two being Sabash, co bitters. Who could be about Nipidemo? As a senior Sabash co bitters. Fraying zero five zero 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 six. Four zero zero zero. Open phone number. Obama by front of four. Any of the four in Fiji do you know? It was a much computer of herbal and over the counter. FD approval number two three K four two. Sabash computers is who put it. Sabash computers. Any bedroom there? We need the end of every one sano. Every every single day in class two years we are here to. I'm very welcome. Thank you. Today our area is quite uh, ABV general spirituality when that word hits me i'm just confused because the way people explain it the way you keep hearing it's like it's a very scary word so there's some certain euphoria around that word and all that so i just want you to take your time and talk to us about it when you hear the word spirituality what should be reading in that mind thank you very much uh I just want to thank your audience for their time and their effort trying to find the truth mm. and find their way back home mm. because uh, here we are just visitors here and no matter how you look at it, this place is not our home. Mm. No matter how you look at it. This is not our home. Yes, it's just like you come to the university and this earth space is a whole large university that is taking people through different life lessons and at the end of the day we have to go back home if you go to the university and you lose fact of the bearings or the navigation to your house then you are trapped there and this is what they call reincarnation mm -hmm. yes uh, when you are trapped within a dimension where you cannot find your way back home from where you were coming from then you keep going and back and forth back and forth until that day you're able to find your way back home. So you go to a particular area, new area altogether that the houses are, they look the same, and you've forgotten about your, your house, house number, number. Yeah. and you're going around, the lanes are the same, okay. so you're confused, you keep on going around. That is what they call this reincarnation. This is the concept of reincarnation. So it all, you know, dovetails into the concept of spirituality. And when we talk about spirituality, people have just have gross misrepresentation and gross inter misinterpretation of what spirituality is and that has created a very elusive perspective and reality to individuals so things that are not spiritual people deem it as spiritual and those things have been so so well mm -hmm. that now when you tell people what true spirituality is they look like you like what this guy saying 
Okay, so the lies have been preached over and over to the extent that we are rather seeing the lies as truth. And when you start, you start talking about the truth, it becomes as if you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, so yes, literally. But I would prefer us use the word misrepresentation. You understand? Misrepresentation in the sense that the way the people perceived spirituality to be and in their own understanding, that is what they thought spirituality was. Mm -hmm. So it may not necessarily be a lie, but they misrepresented what spirituality truly is. So you look at areas like magic, you look at areas like mysticism, you look at areas like uh, uh, mystics, you look at areas like witchcraft and all witchcraft, that. Witchcraft, Wiccan, Druids, you look at areas like spiritism, Hinduism, and, and all those things. They classify all these things as spirituality. Uh, are they not spirituality? No, they are not spirituality. Because spirituality has absolutely nothing to do with the external world. Hmm? Yes. It has nothing to do with anything physical. Spirituality has nothing to do with anything physical? No. It always has to do with the, with the internal world. Let's, let's, uh, take, let's get a just gross definition of what spirituality is. And let's okay, see. you can also Google on your, your phone. So we, we take what is true spirituality. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the options they are giving us. Okay. It says that that is AI overview. So these are definitions coming from artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And you know, the artificial intelligence is the kind of thing that they're trying to take time to assess the various perceptions and various opinions with regards to a particular mm -hmm. subject. And then they input those definitions and those explanations in there. So when you go in there, you get it. So now you say that true spirituality. So we are talking about true spirituality, not the other side of the spirituality mm -hmm. or misrepresented spirituality. It says that true spirituality, Hey, what is this? It's a true spirituality can be defined as a personal connection with a greater being or a recognition that there is more than human existence than just sensory experience. Mm. And when you talk about sensory experience, then it's talking about the external world, mm. the world without. And it's saying that spiritual, true spirituality, it is beyond the world without. Whoa. It said true spirituality is an internal reality, not an external gesture. It's about connecting with God's heart relatively rather than just keeping up with religious duties. So this is what spirituality is. So spirituality, by this definition, also says that it has nothing to do with external duties. It has nothing to do with spirituality. They are all mystics, and it has been misrepresented to be true spirituality. So true spirituality is purely an internal journey. It says that true spirituality involves, when it comes to mindfulness, it says true spirituality involves the mind that's preoccupied with things that are above. The above here represent internal things, not below. Below are the external things. You understand? So when you look at the various definitions given by AI, it tells you true spirituality has up. So this is not my definitions. AI. This is what the world we are following. Even the world is telling you what true spirituality is. Even the very elite and that the very society that doesn't want you to know your true spiritual nature is giving you this is giving you this so you, there's no doubt of its authenticity mm. so then, then we will come after which we will come to my own perception of what true spirituality Talk is you see so when it comes to the principle of love it says that true spirituality involves loving life itself and not not the person or the group that the person in the group represents the external nature. Life dwells within us. So it all boils down to what? An internal So journey. no matter who the person is, what is in there is the love you're showing. It's yes. not the person's personality, the physical appearance. Yes. So true spirituality isn't about the external. It's all about the internal connection. So 
to at least this is what we have from when you Google true spirituality, it gives you all this meaning. These various meanings to true spirituality has nothing to do with the external world. And that's what I've been trying to make people understand. That all the things you follow that you have been told is spirituality actually is never spirituality. If we should give it a little bit of credence, then we say lower form of spirituality or inferior form of spirituality. Mm. But when you are talking about true spirituality, in its true holistic essence, it has nothing to do with anything physical or anything material. It is purely an internal journey. So let me ask you, we are, we are body, soul, spirit, right? Yes. So when you mention that it has nothing to do with the, the physical, we are the, that there is spirit in us, right? Yes. Therefore, if I'm, I'm directed to take this flower to do a direction to solve another problem which is not physical, is that not spirituality? You see, the, the problem we have with, is with language. We think that anything you can see with the physical eyes or the, 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 the sense perception of sight, then it is spiritual. Okay. But there are a lot of things our sense perception of sight cannot perceive. Like, as you are here, there could be a lot of germs and bacteria and viruses and here. And the eyes cannot see. Do you, you term them as spirits no. or spiritual? They are not spiritual. So the fact that the intellect cannot comprehend something and the sight cannot perceive or the senses cannot perceive those things does not literally mean that they are spiritual. Mm. There are a lot of deities around here that we, we worship them. They are not spiritual. Huh? Yes. Even deities? Yes. Ah. They are not spiritual. They are just resonating at, at a much more finer vibrational frequency than, the, than that which the eye can perceive. Okay. For instance, a dwarf. We know a dwarf has a form, but people see dwarf as spirits. But dwarf eat. Spirits don't eat. Dwarf propagate. Spirits don't propagate. When you go to the marine world, they propagate. They are this marine world spirit that come to the earth and marry. They are not spirits. But they have the ability to metamorphosize, to change form at mm -hmm. every given point, like the chameleon does. Spirits wow. don't propagate. Spirit can only propagate through a degraded form. And that is why you can propagate because you have degraded forms. So the real essence of your beingness is the spirit. And that beingness is the extension of the real self, which is the spirit. So it is the beingness, which is the degraded or the extension of that spirit in nature, which is the self, that does the propagation. So the energy of life is transmuted through the, your beingness, which is the degraded form which literally comes to take physical reality, a physical form, the energy is transmitted through the self, the essence, to the soul, then the soul to the senses. Then it can reproduce itself. Wow. So true spirituality is when one engages on an internal journey or an internal path to realize his or her own divinity. No, no, no. Take it again. Take your time. I think you pick it word by word. Yeah. Tell me. Is that what is true spirituality? From my experience, okay. true spirituality is when one engages on his or her internal path or journey to discover his or her own true divinity. What do you mean by internal path? Yes, because as we even read from uh, 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 the Google, Google, Google spirituality, true spirituality is an internal journey, going within. Okay. So the day you decide that you're going to disassociate yourself from anything material, anything form, anything mediumship, be it hairs, be it candles, be it incense, be it animal rituals, the day you decide to disassociate yourself and direct your thoughts, attention inwardly to uncover, to embark on that journey, to walk on that path, to discover and uncover your true divinity, that day you have started your true spiritual journey. So all these things around us that uh, we, we, we tend to must spiritual is not spiritual. Yes, it's not spiritual because once it's externalized, it's not spiritual. But when we, even in our churches, in our village, religious settings, it's about calling God to come. 
they sing. And they, uh, no, that is the, that's that's an act of pure ignorance. Ooh. Yes. From Pine in Yami, I'm Ramish. I remember Bisha Way. I say. Remember Baba Way. This that is pure display of gross ignorance. Because the same Bible tells you that for the Lord is in his temple. Let his holy ones be silent. Then he will give a revelation. And he will show you hidden things in secret places. The Lord is in his temple. When they talk about the temple, this is the temple. Ah. Is it not the church building? No. The hey, church building is a synagogue. Oh. But when you say temple, even some of the church... Uh, uh, actually, it's you not. Have, you, have, you have Christ Temple. Actually, yeah. actually, it's not even called a church because when you're talking about church, it is this physical body. The church is a physical body. This is the physical body, and we, that is 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 the. This is the church, and this is the temple. So, Mr. let's break it down. Give us breakdown of what you're trying because people are confused, and I think if I don't ask them, the, the, if I don't ask the questions for them, I think I will not be doing them any good. Help us understand the line between church, the building. Whatever, so that we can link it to the spirituality because 80%, 90% are assumed in Ghana as Christians, but they might not know this that what they perceive to be God or to be spiritual is not. Okay. But the moment you want to say God is redeemed and you're trying to play emphasis, lay emphasis on that, you become a problem like a quiet meditation. Hey, is there a Muslim for me? I mean, that kind of thing. So I want us to break it down for them to understand. Okay, so literally, when we want to talk about the word church, we have to look at the, the etymology or the genesis of the word church. Let's go. And the first time the word church was used, mm -hmm. throughout the whole of the Bible, nobody used the word church until Jesus Christ used it first. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the book so of from, Matthew. From Genesis. No, nobody used the word church. They always used tabernacle, sanctuary, synagogue. Those were the terms that they used. To represent a place of worship, a place of the abode of divinity, the abode of God. Until Jesus Christ came. Because the mission of Jesus Christ was to give them the right destination of God. The exact another point destination of divinity. Now this is what happened. When you look at the, whole, the entirety of the Old Testament. The, the, the entirety of the Old Testament talks about the externalization of of divinity mm. so it it, it 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 draws people's attention to the temple of solomon so we have the holy place the holies of holies mm -hmm. and then we have the outer court mm -hmm. you understand so when you look at the design of the temple of solomon it's just like the shape of a human being the revelation that god gave to the drawing that god gave to david and now david was supposed to build a temple but yeah, and because his hands was soiled with blood According to the the, 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 the legend, it says that he should not build a temple because his son is soil, but because he was a man of war. So what David was did was to assemble all the materials that was needed for the putting up of the lost temple. And Solomon was appointed to build, to build the lost temple. So the diagrams, everything was done and everything. So when you were the design that they, they gave to Solomon, it is just this the representation of the human body you understand so from the base when you're entering into the outer court there are two walkways that leads to the cells then from there that's where you do the cleansing and all those things then from there that is the two human legs from there you come to the inner court or the holy place the holy place has to do from your waistline to your neck mm -hmm. now from the from from the holy place you realize there's a staircase that the high priest will climb into the holy for holies of holies now, in the holies of holy, there are two bushings here and the left and the right, which is the right brain, the right hemisphere of the brain, and the left hemisphere of the brain. Mm -hmm. And that is what we call the temple. And that was where the Ark of the Covenant was. The Ark of the Covenant was between, between those two bushings, mm -hmm. which is the pineal gland, between the two hemispheres of the brain. So it was because, as at the time, people had not been able to comprehend the internalization of, of the kingdom, and because that kingdom has fully not come, because he needed that very essence that would manifest that kingdom, which is the Christ essence, mm. to come and direct people to that fullness of the manifestation of the kingdom. So they had a physical representation or external representation of that internalized kingdom. Wow. And that was the Old Testament. That was, by when we read the book of uh, 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 Matthew, it says that 
think not that I've come to condemn the law or the prophet, but I have come that it may be fulfilled, mm -hmm. that it might come to its fullness. So first it was in parts, but now it is in whole. In whole is that the fullness of the revelation of the dwelling place of the divine has been made manifest to people. Which is within. Which is within. That's why when, in the old of the testament, people always went to sought for God in the tabernacles, in the synagogues, and in the sanctuaries. You understand? But when Jesus met the, the Samarian woman, and the, after a long chart and spiritual revelations about the woman, he said, woman, thy sins are forgiven, but go and sin no more. You understand? And the woman said, where do I go to worship you? Our father says, you have to go to the mountain top. You say, we should go to mm. Jerusalem. That is the externalization of the kingdom. Mm. And it says that Jesus Christ responded to say, for God, it said, a time is, it said, it said, for a time is coming that they that worship God will worship God in spirit and, and in truth. truth. For God is a spirit and seeks such like to worship him. The word worship there is not as in singing adoration, mm. but it's as in having fellowship. So actually, the word there is fellowship. It's not in worship. So the worship there is as in, you know, having a fellowship with that divine essence. Mm. So if you mention worship, worship doesn't mean as we do. Yes, Shirao, Asafu. It's no, not. No, what means that Asafu? Oh no. So, so if we are doing that, what are we doing? No, I don't know where that is emanating from. Because when you read the book of Genesis. I think Genesis 2, 3, there about. The Bible says that in the cool of the day, God came to the garden to have fellowship with Adam. But the, one of the main purposes that God created Adam was to have fellowship. The, you understand? So it's about having fellow. In one of the, and this I'm telling you, I came to the realize one of the days I, after meditation, and when I was getting out of meditation from the meditation seat, then I heard a loud voice. Man, supposed to have fellowship with God and not to worship God because angels were created for worship and men were created for fellowship. So what is fellowship then? Fellowship is having friendship with the divine essence. How do we do that? that is is it going... prayer? Is it fasting? What? No, they are all, uh, we can put, they are all ways and means that man has adopted to, 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 to reach out to that state of qualifying to have that divine fellowship. Because, yeah, we fast, we do all those things because we're giving much attention to the physical senses. And the physical senses has drawn us away from our divine connection. So in order for us to be able to restore that connectivity, we need to deprive the physical senses of enfulgence of energy. So when and it, the physical senses has its enfulgence of energy from the kind of nutrients they, they derive from food. So when you, de you deny the physical senses of food, it lacks nutrients. Then naturally, the physical senses lose its enfugians, its mm. energy. So then you draw closer to the divine essence rather than drawing closer to the material world. Well, the truth of the matter is that through spirituality, you must be disconnected from the material. Is it? Yes. So if you want to say you are spiritual, it means that you have to disconnect from the physical. Yes. And who are we then? Because you are spirit. We are spirit manifesting our energies, manifesting our, our potencies, manifesting our capabilities through our the physical dimensions. You see, the, the, the problem here is when you consistently align with the external, you become carnally minded. Because we all admit that External things are carnal things. They are things of form and, and, and shape. Mm. You understand? And the Bible says that to be carnally minded is death. And that is why all, excuse my language, it's a little bit sad to say this, but this is the truth. And we have to say, that is why most people that are engrossed in this material, mystical, magical activity, when they come to you and talk to you, they are dead. When you talk to them, they become like, ah. Like there's, kind of, there's some kind of an inner awakening to a realization. Because what they are pursued and they think is spiritual, you know, going to this person, taking this hair, doing this, thing, doing this, and they've all taught the spirit. When you begin to awaken them with the real spiritual knowledge, you see? Wow. 
Because to be carnally minded is dead. Whether you focus your attention on money, you focus your attention on herbs, you focus your attention on animal sacrifice, you focus your attention, whatever you focus your attention on, which is material and physical, and is disconnected from that internal essence, it's death. Then, how do I become spiritual then? So to become spiritual, as I said, is for you to embark on that internal journey. What is because the internal journey? The internal journey is a switch of attention. Talk to us how. Okay, fine. All your life you are taught that the kind of freedom, liberation, contentment, happiness, inner bliss, peace that you are looking for lies in the external world. That's all you have always taught. The farewell, yeah, bro. Hey, yeah, bro. Hey, yeah, bro. Yes. Just me farewell, yeah, bro. So like everything, you're calling God to come. Yes, because you externalize God. You think God's seated in the sky with a magic wand with a long beard. It doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. There's no God seated anywhere like that. It doesn't exist. There is a God. I'm not saying there's no God. There is a God. But the kind of false reality that theology has make you, or religious entities, not only church, but religious entities like the, 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 the Islamics and all those religious entities externalizes God to be. It's not, it doesn't, that God does not exist. So, so why would they do that if, if it doesn't exist? You see, at, at the point, I wouldn't blame those fathers of this religious entity because at the time, people's awareness was not so advanced to the level to be able to comprehend non-physical reality. So they needed to use symbols and certain, things which, are, and that. certain things which are more... Uh, 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 they are more conversant with or more acquainted with. So... They are, in those days, you know, it was the reign of emperors and uh, monarchs and all those things. So these monarchs, emperors, like Lord Listowell, Lord this, Lord that, and they were rulers and they, they, they governed people, governed the way they behave, issues, instructions, issued directives, and people had to comply to those directives and whatever it is. When you comply well, you get a good result. You discomply, you're punished. You, you understand? So for, for them to be able to get people's attention to to be able to comprehend what they are talking about they needed to externalize it so then they related god to be this ruler in that rulership dominion okay so they use as as, as, a, a, as a metaphor as a metaphor that if we have emperors who sit in thrones like yeah. this then the superior that god must also have to who is bigger than all these emperors so his throne is like from here to the skies just to give them a, a mental imagery of who they're worshipping. Probably to be able to comprehend what they are worshipping mm. as at the time. Mm. Because you know our earth moves in different ages and different phases. Exactly. And depending on the, 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 the distance between our, 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 the center of our earth magnetic field and then the sun energy releasing intelligences to our earth magnetic field determines the level of awareness. So that's why we have the, now we are in the golden age because the, earth, the center of the earth magnetic is much more closer to the energy of the sun. So there are a lot of awakening going on right now. Mm -hmm. So, but as it recedes further away from the center of the earth magnetic field, people become more damp and more ignorant and they are unable to comprehend. And when it goes further, further away, that is what takes us what we call the dark ages, where people live in all like more or less like in, within the animal propensities. So that is how they, as at the time, that is how they could make people understand the existence of that divinity. Because this is a God that is not seen, it's not felt, it's not seen. You cannot touch, you cannot feel, you cannot talk to. But it's omnipresent, it's everywhere. You understand? How can I tell you God is omnipresent, omnipre omnipotent, and omniscient? And then he's seated at this place called heaven. You understand? Mm. Obviously, it's, it misrepresents that God. Because God has no form. It's, 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 it's limitless bank of infinite love energy. That is what my own experience, that is what that God is. You know, what we call God is a limitless, infinite bank of love energy, mm. love potential. And that is what keeps the universe alive. That's what the Bible says that in Him we live and move and have our beingness. He has no form, He has no shape, He has no real definite structure. So if, if, if I've been deceived, let me use the word deceived, uh, because I want, want me misled. to understand. I've been misled to know that there is a God somewhere and I keep on praying to that God, how will I receive? And that's why the Bible says that, I'm not the one saying it, the Bible says you pray and you receive not answers to your prayers because you pray are missed. <sighs> I, I'm not saying it. If, if they don't want it, it has to be taken out of the Bible. You understand? 
Because once you externalize your thought, where your attention goes, your energy, energy flows, flows, and then that is where your creation would be. So if your creation is in void, nothing comes out of it because there's nothing to receive that energy to cause manifestation to that energy. But the real existence of God dwells, and that God we are talking about, that infinite, limitless bank of love energy dwells, has its own kingdom it dwells in. That kingdom is not a physical kingdom, but they have, we have to use the word kingdom because it is the word that represents domain, rule, and authority. Mm -hmm. You understand? And Jesus made it explicitly clear in the Bible that the kingdom of God, where is it? He said, let no man deceive you that here come the kingdom of God or there come the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God is within you. So if the kingdom harnesses the king or the king sits in the kingdom and God's kingdom is within you, then where is God? So God is within you. Yeah, 100%. God is within us. 100% without doubt. So must we pray to anything? To any deity, must you pray to anything? Like, if God is inside, must I ask anything from outside to come and help me? You see, that is the big problem. You see, when when illusions are speculated over years, actualities become falsehood. Hmm. You see, I'm repeating, when illusions are speculated over the years, actualities to become falsehood. You see. For eons and eons of generations, people have made to believe that you petition some kind of energy or deity for assistance. Mm -hmm. So people have lived in that world of illusion. So then when you come to them, you just want to say that no, it's, it's not done, it's not necessary, then it becomes a problem. Because they have witnessed, they have gotten certain... Uh, certain uh, responses yes. to what they have been doing. No, so the, point is that, the point is that the responses that they have is not even from those deities. From what? It's their own creation. Huh? Yes. How? You see, that's the, 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 the irony of this whole thing. Mm. You see... I've prayed what, what, for what, months... My, my grandmother God to give me a child. My, my grandmother. And I became pregnant. God has given me a child. My grandmother. Medicine for her hypertension. Do you know what it was? It was tom tom. Aha. Yes. That is her. Yes. This will happen. One day. She, 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 her, her BP went high, and my uncle then may so rest in may so rest in peace. Didn't know what was it was to do, and there was no drug around us at then. So I don't know something just came to mind. So he just saw Tonto and bought Tonto and said, "Hey, we do we do now, Who said that? My uncle told my grandma that we do we do now, Bau. I know they do no ma. She took it psychologically. The pressure came down. So anytime she says that pressure was going on, my uncle just go run, go get a tonton and give to her. And they sustain her for more than 20 years without taking BP medicine. Because wow. the temple is everything in their state of mind. Do you know there are people working with deadly diseases and they are fine? They don't know. Once they get to know, they begin to die. So what happened is this. Thought intentions okay at the level of thought descends into a degraded form of emotions now these emotions harnesses the vibrations of manifestation now when emotions conceives the idea of thought and it's fully matured like a woman pregnant for nine months mm -hmm. it sends it to the wheel now will then instruct senses to cause manifestation okay then you are taught manifestation. So at the time you conceive an idea that I want a child, and your mind has always been on the fact that I want a child, that mm -hmm. thought will be sent to your emotions. So the person who go to church will be crying, he's creating that energy within, within himself. When that energy is sustained to its fullness of maturity of conception, it needs to break loose. The water must break loose and the baby must come out. 
So, so it's not a pastor who is powerful. No. It's not a church environment that is powerful. Yes. It is rather the, the, the church inside, yes. the church as a body, that you are even, you, you've been told to do A, B, C, D, you are doing it, and you are really feeding that part of it. What did you just... The, is it a Cornelius in the Bible? Mm -hmm. The army commander came mm -hmm. to Jesus, and he said one of my servants uh, is not feeling well, mm -hmm. and it's like... You have to compare. And Jesus said, I don't have time. I have to do a few other things. You go later. I come. I said, no, son. I said, no. Speak. Just, but I'm a commander of an army. I speak and it is B. I said, go ahead. Go. Just take, speak that word. He said, I have never seen any man of such faith. Go. And they said, at the same time, he was healed. The healing didn't come from Jesus. It, comes from, it came from Cornelius. And if Cornelius had exercised the same thing in the absence of Jesus, it would have manifested. It doesn't need Jesus for that to happen. So I do examples like So that. Jesus mm -hmm. told a woman, I said, thy faith. The, the, the woman with the issue of the blood. He right? said, thy faith has made you. It's not my garment. It's it, it just say that I did it. I'm not the one saying it. It's the Bible. So if they don't want it, I have to be taken out of the Bible. He said, thy faith has made you whole. Listen, we are a super power compressed we call it when you come to face we call it latent energy so we're talking about human beings yes uh -huh. latent energy we yes microcosm latent energy then what is happening to why are we suffering yes because we've diverted our thought our attention all has huh? to do with attention you've diverted our attention at all externally instead of we looking internally we're looking externally because you see, what you don't understand is, or what people don't understand is, everything that created all things and that we sustain all things is that which forms our being. Wow. Let me say it again. Say it. That which created all things and that which sustains all things in this world from the north to the south, east to west, within manifest creation, anything that has been ever created, mm -hmm. and the energy that sustains all creatures or all creation, that single energy that created all things and sustains all creation is that energy that is in man. It's not in any other entity. So it means that we, we, we are the finest on this earth? The finest. That is why all these uh, extraterrestrial being see us to be very primitive people. Mm. That's because of the energies we inhabit within our being. And we pursue up after these external, monetary, sensual gratifications. You see, if we are able to harness our beingness and harness our true essence, which is spirit, we don't need to. If we are able to discover who we really are, there are so many things we will not go after. No, we don't really need to bother ourselves about so many things. We don't need to bother ourselves about so many things. Because all these things you see, these are all people's creation. The ones lived in the, in the subconsciousness of people. They brought it to life. All the chairs, everything, Bible, phones, everything, all these things, all the dress, everything. They were once in subconsciousness of people. So I don't understand why we should just waste our time on external things. What should we focus on? You have to focus in our internal power. What would that bring to us? It changes everything that we want. Toby, if I want to be spiritual, it's about me going inside of myself. Yes. Because you are the habitation and the embodiment of the divine energy we call God. How do I do that? It's through the act of meditation. Hmm? Yes. Through meditation? And prayers as well. But many churches don't meditate. Because so many are, religious because, are, because they are ignorant. They they leave the meditation to occultists and all the occult groups and they think when you, you start meditation you become an occult or belong to certain spirits that are not divine and all that. Yes, it, it, meditation is a word. Simply means being still and paying attention. Mm -hmm. So what are you being still about and what are you paying attention to is the difference. Mm -hmm. If I still quiet and I pay attention to the creator of the universe and somebody still 
become still and pay attention to the adverse energy we call Satan. Obviously, we are both doing meditations, but there are two different kinds of meditations mm. we are knowing altogether. Mm. You understand? So, meditation as an act itself is not evil, but to what we pay attention to that makes the difference. And we have different forms of meditations. Okay. You understand? We have regular meditation to solve our daily problems, where we are able to contact the endless reservoir of knowledge and intelligences and solutions to every problem human could ever have in this lifetime. Is there? Is there any problem you can think of in this lifetime? And you can only assess that dimension through the act of meditation. Just what is meditation? Just being quiet and silent. So, it's not about the singing, green, 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 the noise in the churches and all that. But the Bible says that for the Lord has is present in His temple, let His holy ones be silent before Him, and in that silence He will give them revelation. He will show them hidden things in secret places. So the only way you can have revelation from God is through the act of silence. Have you ever been to church? We all, we are all Christians. We've been to church many years. Have you ever been to church whilst there were, there's praise and worship and then there will be prophecy? Hmm. No. Most time when the prophecies will come, it's after the praise and worship and then the worship, the praises comes in and the worship is coming to a close and they say, Obian ye diyo wo Then you see manifestation. So, so it is about being quiet and paying attention. Yes. So and meditation is all about paying attention. True meditation is all about paying attention. And but that attention you are paying, it's the most profound thing that could ever happen to you in a lifetime. With that attention, you have access to limitless fields and dimensions of knowledge, inventions, innovations, and creations. The meditation kakrana e and baby and So I thought that that is where you you'll you be getting to. Ask me or ask yourself, why now what will you see with me? I knew I did when he was busy playing football, he was busy dancing in a nightclub or something. So when you're quiet, so when it's you're always quiet. when you have a problem, you're quiet, then I just begin to filter in. Hmm. So what we call meditation is that people don't grasp it and people are just wallowing in, in unnecessary pain and agony and buffing different things and getting themselves into different rituals and different ceremonial magics and all those things just because they are ignorant of how to harness the infinite intelligence. Now, our very constitution is a constitution of an omniscient being. That means all-knowing being. Okay. And once you can go inside that is why all the words that ever brought change and altered the, the way of human life all start with the word in. I get it. So, invent. You go in, vent is to bring it out. Mm -hmm. So, invent, go in and bring it out. Innovate. Okay. You understand? You go in. And then get some idea. So always it has been about inside. And that's why when you read the Bible, it says that for it is I. It said, do not forget that it is I, God, that gives us man the ability to create wealth. That God that lives within, that is within us that we have to have to meditate before to, to, to that is the, the right way to worship him. How are you not getting the stuff you're supposed to receive if you are meditating? Uh, how do you do that? I don't get a question. I'm talking about the true meditation that you're yeah. talking about. People, people are doing it, they are not seeing anything. They just keep on doing the meditation, keep it quiet, spending time, but then they're not receiving any message. Is it that you don't do it well or something? Yeah, well, I, I cannot speak for them because, uh, they are, as I told you, there are different forms of meditation. Mm -hmm. You see, some people engage in contemplation and they also still call it meditation. Okay. You see, some people are, 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 are engaged in the exercise of focusing mm -hmm. and they call it meditation. Others are engaged in the exercise of imagination 
imaginative thinking mm -hmm. and they call it meditation others engage in the exercise of visualization they call all these exercises meditation meditation and others are engaged in some other forms of yoga exercises or aerobic exercises and they call it meditation but for me what i know is true meditation is to be able to be still to the le to the dimension that you transcend the intellect that the mind becomes virtually powerless but the problem we are having is with the mind and the solution we have to get is from the mind so the mind is a good friend yet at the same time a worse foe or a worse enemy so in true meditation you sit to the level with the necessary tactics and skill through proper mentorship and guidance that the mind then becomes still. Okay. The more the mind becomes still, the more the mind becomes calm, the more you can tap into that dimensions of frequencies. Because every knowledge is in spheres and in that. All knowledge you see, every knowledge you see, they are in spheres and dimensions. All these knowledges, they already exist. Mm -hmm. Just that it's up to you to tap into that frequency. For instance, like radio frequency. Mm -hmm. Peace FM is there, radio, uh, radio Ghana is there, Obono is there, this is there, GH1 is there, Joy is there, Radio Gold is there, uh, 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 XYZ is there, and all the stations are there. It's how do you tune into that frequency? Okay. And that each frequency you tune into and what they are talking about, they are all not talking about the same thing. Exactly. To every frequency you tune in and what they are talking about. And I can guarantee people this without fail. Mm -hmm. on my own integrity and on my own experience that when you are able to achieve the mastery of meditation there's no problem on earth you cannot solve that you are confronted with if you are able and you to don't achieve, need the assistance of any mediumship or whatever it is if if there is anything you can really have as in a person to be able to win this life battles and all that this meditation be able to get to that level Yes. And that's why almost everybody who has changed the course of human history, and even in our present day, all the millionaires you, you see them, if they are to tell you the truth, they all meditate. Hmm. So, all of them. So, where do we get our answers from? We know that our answers come from the skies. Answers from which uh, answer, like answers from the prayers we do and all that you know it comes from heaven. No, but if the answers the come from the sky, everybody should access it because everybody have access to the skies. Why do some people have the answers and others don't have it? So the answers are from within. It's from within. And if you're unable to go within, forget it. Hmm. You see this 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 well, I don't know, but outside of the world, the level of ignorance is so high. You understand? And what we've been made to believe as a reality is a fake reality. So sometimes when you say these things, it becomes a little bit problematic. You understand? People find it hard to phantom it. But it's, it's truth. It is authentic truth without any doubt. Let's take, if, if, if they take scientists who do inventions, what do they do? They seclude them. Mm -hmm. They kill them somewhere so that they have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Because in, in, your, in your quiet state, in your quiet awareness, consciousness is awakened. And consciousness journeys back to source. Consciousness, awareness. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, they call it living soul, living soul, which is consciousness. Mm -hmm. And this consciousness journeys back to source. That source is infinite knowledge, intelligence, love, and everything. Mm -hmm. So when you become awakened through the things you hear, you become conscious. Now the mind is beginning to function the way it needs to function. And now this mind that has a, 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 a reason and has become awakened must journey back to its source where it gets its infusions from. Mm. And that is the divinity. So if I want to learn meditation, if I want to learn to now go inside and ask all the questions I want to ask from within, uh, is it difficult to do that? Well, difficult is a relative word. You understand? It takes a few disciplines. Okay. You should be able to learn to sit at one place. There are people who cannot just sit down for even 10 minutes. 
You must learn to sit down for one place. You must learn to relax the body. You must learn to calm yourself. You understand? You must learn to just be in a little bit of isolation. Mm -hmm. not, not for so many hours. It depends on your capacity. And wow. then just learn to disconnect from the external world. And just go inside. Some people can start with the breathing exercise. Wow. I focus your attention. I, I, even as I close my eyes, I've been to experience so many things. Mm -hmm. You understand? I can feel the tension and everything. So you do the breathing exercise for some time. What is the breathing? The breathing that doesn't carry you anywhere. It just relaxes your nerves, calm the frequency of the mind, mm -hmm. calm the agitations of the mind and the vibrations of the mind. Mm -hmm. Once you're able to do that and then you focus on the center of the brain's hemispheres, both the left and right brain's hemisphere, which is the, where the Ark of the Covenant was placed in, mm -hmm. the, in, the, in, the, in the Holies of Holies. It resonates with the light within. Wow. And that light you see inside, which is the invisible light or the intangible light, that can only be perceived by the pineal gland. Mm. That light is an embodiment of all the intelligences that you need. You see, people think when you say you meditate, you go to Akashic Records and all those things, then you go there, you see the thing written like a storybook or it's written in a diary or it's written in a, a notebook. It doesn't exist like that. I'll be right back. Gold Figure Transport and Engineering Services. She, nano, Kamensha Gold Figure Transport and Engineering Services. And Kadia Jeme. She, Omudi, who from CCSA, who Pabo, say quarry dust, quarry stone, and now say, who per building materials, and term param the amount. She, Kukukra Kacheme say, Nadia Wosino, no one said in Kutesica, Nanso, Uchichi, Sika Kakraka for building materials, a brosu yenan, and Omdin in our brennen, where sitting that timan of one journal, gold figure transport and engineering services, or more tracks like a sea, a chian yan a brewa, a healthy any home, or more so the form ball call. Usika no sumpa, kakra krana, ombe bwa mwa suidanya, asum jim. Good figure, mwye number one. Ope blocks, types, ahu do yine bi, u yine biya, freye. Good figure, ye number one. Freye number no. Welcome back. So, 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 you are letting us understand the fact that most of the things we see out there are spiritual. It's basically not spiritual. Yeah, they are mystical. They are mystical. Which is good. We are not saying it's bad. Yeah, I, I get it. Let's right? establish this fact. It, they are mystical. They have their own dimension. They have their own part. They, they play, play the within, they play within the within. cosmic sphere of existence. Mm. Mm. So we must give them their role and re respect their role as such. Mm. But we shouldn't cross that activity to the to, to, the, be. to be what it is not. You understand? So it is not even angelic invocation and all those. They are all not spiritual. I, you know I do angelic invocation. Mm. They are all not spiritual. They are all mystical because you are dealing with entities that are external of you. Oh, it only becomes spiritual when the thing is within. It's within. Because you are the spirit. But if you are directed from within to also to, uh, bring out something, for example, sometimes you receive a message that don't go out. Okay, go and get this plant. Go here, go and take this and do this. And you, you do that to help somebody. Uh, does that become, does that not spiritual? No, that is beautiful. Okay. Because it's beautiful because that's a manifestation of the spiritual into the mystical dimension. Okay. So the, the so actions. That, uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, we, we, we said that you can go inside, you find solutions to all the problems you are encountered with. And one of the one of the highest solutions that the spiritual dimensions of intelligences can direct you to. Right from the spiritual dimension, they take you to the mystical dimension. Oh. So the mystical dimension is the degraded, the, the next degraded level of the spiritual dimension. But what I want you to understand is that spiritual is spirit. It has nothing to do with physical. But you can tap from there. Uh, no, and I, bring I, it I, am I making sense? Uh -huh. Spiritual comes from the word spirit. Mm -hmm. And spirit has nothing to do with form. Okay, so the moment there is form, it is not Stop spiritual. talking. It, it ends. Its spirituality ends. Can you give us an example? Okay, oh, you give the example already. The one I gave? Yes. 
say I, I sit to meditate and maybe there's a problem and I sit to meditate. There are two ways to it. I can sit and send direct energy without involvement of anything physical. Okay. We call it spiritual healing or spiritual resolutions. Okay. So let's say you call me, so I'm going for a contract, I'm going to do this, this, this. Okay, fine. Okay, go. When you get into the office and start negotiation, just give me a flash. Then I'll sit here. And then I ask you where Would the meeting happen? The meeting is happening and who are what are the names of the people, who is the final decision maker and everything. I sit here and I direct the energy and I issue instruction to the invisible and the magnetic field. The person will pick the frequency. Because we we'll pick the frequency at the level of its resonation of spirit energy. Wow. We call it wavelength. So you're able to communicate with that mobile phone? Oh, yes. That's what they call it. At the higher sense perception, they call it telepathy. You use telepathic communication to communicate to the person who has to respond to, to yes, that answer. Yes, he will pick it. He will respond. No straight away about that. Because there have to be transmission and receptivity. And the, our, the human brain is a transmitter and a receiver. Mm. This even normal psychology tells you that. Wow. The human brain is a transmitter. What are it's we missing? What are we not doing right, Mr. Mensa? The only thing we are missing is that we have externalized our thought and our attention. So if you want to see God, if you want to see God, don't worry, don't go out. It's inside. Yeah, that's it. A hundred percent and one without fear. So any religion that is really externalizing externalizing uh, God. Then there is a problem that we need to address. Oh, there's not really, really a problem. It's just a misconception and mis misorientation. So the people that have believed that fact and always do that will not fully benefit from the actions, right? Yes, from Christianity to Islam, the Kaaba is inside you. <laughs> Mecca is inside you. Jerusalem is inside you. It's wow. all your state of beingness. You understand? Mm. You, you sit and you, you want to pray and you raise your head to the rising of the sun. You understand? Why do people face where the sun rises? Mm. Why do people face the where the sun rises? Because it's the source of light. That's where intelligence comes from, isn't mm. it? Mm. But that, was, that is the physical light. Wow. But there is a non-physical light, which is the true spiritual light. And where that comes it? from the pinnacle gland. How do you see? It's inside. It's there. <laughs> and all, some of the people I, I, I'm taking through the training, even some of them have never meditated for their regular Christians and all those things. I give them the signals. When the pinagram begins to activate, okay, these are the signs you see. You feel this burning sensation. You feel these things on your... And they, they are, I can read some of It's just private. I can read some of their, 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 their practice response. Hmm. Yeah, you feel it. When you're there, you feel the tinkling effect. You feel the burning sound, as if they, they've lighted fire here. You understand? Then you feel the heaviness. I mm -hmm. see somebody knocking your forehead. You understand? Wow. That means that at that level, the pinna gland is being decalcified. Because when calcium clouds your pinna gland, it doesn't function the way it should function. And the pinna gland is, 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 an, is, is, is an endocrine gland in, this, in, in between your, the, the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. Mm. That keeps you in a balance, that connects through the cerebrum. And then mm -hmm. through the spinal cord and the pituitary gland connects to your magnetic field wow. and the pinna gland connects to your electrical field. And what happens is that the pinna gland, the only responsibility of the pinna gland is to assess darkness and light. That's what it does. Wow. The pinna gland doesn't make you see any spiritual vision. It's a lie. The third eye. The third eye. They call it an eye, not because the third eye. Those are ancient descriptions mm -hmm. because of its ability to sense. You understand? And the location mm -hmm. of the pinna gland it's more or less like an internalized eye, you understand? But even in the 17th century, most of the French philosophers called it the seat of the soul. Mm. You understand? Because it harnesses the energy of the soul. So the, the responsibility of the pinna gland is only to assess light. It assesses light and darkness and makes us sleep and wake up. So the, the assessment of light, there are two phases, the physical light and the non-physical light, and the physical darkness and non-physical darkness. So when night falls and there's no the physical sunlight, the pinna gland perceives it as darkness and a time that it orders or instructs the body to produce melatonin. And this melatonin puts the body in a state of sleep. We call it a sleeping state. So in spirituality, we have those who are in the sleeping state and those who are in the awakening state. 
Wow. Now, when the physical light comes on, then the pineal gland perceives the sun's rays as daytime and then instructs the body to further stop producing the melatonin. Then you have to wake up from sleep. Wow. So it's around around 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in the morning, the pineal gland totally stopped the manufacturing of melatonin in the body. And that is why it is assumed that ladies people sleep after 7 a.m. You mm -hmm. understand? So at 7 a.m., the pineal gland, the body stopped producing melatonin completely. You understand? So the body goes through several metamorphoses, several experiences or several stages of of, of uh, unfoldments at different times of the day. Mm. You, you get the whole thing. And, and around 9 p.m., the body begins to secrete melatonin into the system. That is why almost everybody between 9 10, every, most people begin to feel sleepy and begin to slumber. So because at that time, that's the time the pineal gland instructs the body to begin to produce melatonin into the system. So this what it, this, so it, this I'm talking about the physical light and physical darkness. Mm -hmm. Now, this same pineal gland has the non-physical aspect of its functionality that is able to perceive the internal light and internal darkness. That's what Jesus Christ said in the book of Luke. I said, for your, light, your eye is the light of the body. If your eye be seen, your body is full of light. And if that eye is dark, or what great darkness shall that be? He's not talking about physical darkness. He's talking about internal darkness wow. and internal light. So if I want to learn and master myself, is, is, is there any training that somebody can say, I want to, I want to join the way network to, to master myself, to understand meditation to that level that I will also see the light? Oh, yes. It, it's something we're working on, maybe. I made that advert some time ago, but we are, we, we've piloted, as I told you, we've piloted some, and it's going very well. So now I've seen how best, you know, now time is a problem. So when you're doing things, mm -hmm. you have to, and as I told you myself, I've started schooling, so mm -hmm. uh, we are constrained with time. So mm -hmm. you need to plan and plan well. Exactly. You, if once a week the people would come here or wherever they will be or they'll be online or something, I don't know. So we are just putting something together to see how we can really plan this thing very well by the close of the month so that at least people will begin to you see people will begin to experience uh, the beauty and the profoundness of our divine nature how long does it take to master oh it's 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 relative it depends on your dedication commitment and sincerity you understand in pursuing the path if you come on the path with a parochial interest this parochial interest will be your blockade. Mm. You see, you have to come with a pure, honest, clear mind that I want to experience God. I want wow. to know God. Because the only way to eternal life, the only way to salvation, which is self-elevation, actually, which is the word, is to know God. Mm. If you don't know God, forget it, you don't have eternal life. Wow. And what do we the book of... Uh, uh, John chapter 17, verse 1 to 3. It said, This word spark Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may also glorify thee. That thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he may give eternal life to as many as thou hast given unto him. And this is life eternal, that they, may, they might know you, the only true God and, and Christ whom thou hast sent. So, eternal life is not believing in Jesus, it's knowing God. Wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Benza, your, your contact before I leave you. And uh, remember, every, every Wednesday and Saturday evening, please join Mr. Benza on YouTube, The Way Network. Please remember to subscribe. The teachings that are going on there, Charlie, Charlie, you must learn. You must. So, please subscribe, click the notification button. That bell, click it any time that there is any new shoot. You will have the opportunity to be among the first to watch it. So your number. Uh, before I give my number, I just want Ghanaians and Africans, especially the black men across the globe, mm -hmm. and not only in Africa, for us to know that our world has evolved. We evolved from the dark age to the mental age to the electrical age. We are now in the golden age. 
and in the golden is the age of intelligence. Mm. That's why they look at the artificial intelligence. They're building a whole lot of intelligence. Mm. Now you have moved from intellectual intelligence to emotional intelligence. Mm. Everything is bordered on intelligence. And for you to make any headway in this life, mm. you must develop your intelligence. Mm. And the only source you can get authentic natural intelligence is to go inside and contact your own divinity. Wow. No amount of buffing of Tamil nyanya and all those things will give you any intelligence. <laughs> because the truth of the matter is that they don't give intelligence. That's the truth. And this is they have the part they play. They have the role they play. And it only ends there by cleansing your aura. When they cleanse your aura, they make you free so now you can go inside. So okay, you buff all the Tamil wherever you want, you want to buff it with buff it and when you finish calm then I'll I'll help you go inside. So mm -hmm. that you can get authentic, so that we can change the destiny of Africa. You know, the African students that are coming up will be more informed, they're more aware, mm. they're more conscious. It's so painful that a president like our, our, our president, mm. with uh, uh, the age of finance ministers we have, you go to the World Bank, you go and sit in front of a 27, 25 year old boy who doesn't bath Tamil, who doesn't go to the shrine, doesn't go anything, you can't revolt him. He, he, he calls the shots. Don't you see it's, mm. it's a pity? with all this, and is it funny enough, have you noticed that all the nations and all the regions that put their hope in these externalized things are the most important and the most poor nations in the world? Look at Haiti. Look at Lome, Dahomey. Look at Togo. Look at our own regions in Ghana here, the Vota region, the Northern region, the uh, uh, Inzima regions. Hmm. These nations, this part of the regions of our earth plane that put their hope on this externalized are the most impoverished regions in the universe. Look at India. When, so many years ago, when India put its hope on all these things, now they even look at China, same thing. Hmm. But when they began to enter into the dimension of intelligence, they exploded. Look at the exploded. Yeah, so these are things you are talking about. It has happened to nations, it has happened to regions and people, and they've changed the course of human history. So it is not something that we are joking about. This is the, the solution to the black predicament. For years, wow. we've done all this. Is all these black um, Afro Americans and black Americans come to go to all these shrine houses, they go to go and buff all the heads and all, and they still go back to Europe and they, stay, they are still maintained as if nobody regards them because there's no transformation of thought. Wow. So we have to change it. You understand? They, things must change. We must begin to develop our own intelligence. Be begin to develop our own psyche. Begin to do. You see, you pick up some of these things, and somebody goes to America, he goes to US, he goes to World Bank conferences, he goes to all these programs, go and pick write ups and come and begin to implement them. Hook, line, and sinker will go and see STEM, science theory. They can't pick them, want to implement them. You see, are we not thinking as a people? Mm. Are we not thinking as a people? So, Mr. Thank you. <laughs> Listen so to it. Please, this is truth. If you want to learn, mm -hmm. learn wherever you may find knowledge, mm. wherever you may find intelligence, learn mm. it. But the intelligence, which is the most authentic intelligence, is the intelligence that directs you to your inside. Oh. Once oh. you can go inside, you get authentic. You're good knowledge. to go. You're good to go. All inventions, all innovations comes from the in, going in. So please. God be with you and God bless you. Mm. You can contact us on 0243-732-861. 0243-732-861. Or get to our social media handle, The Way Networks. The, the Way, Way Networks. networks uh, on YouTube. And then you get more of these videos to learn. That's why on our channel, you can ask. I've never sat on this channel to make adverts for Kutu uh, or oil or Odiaba oil or whatever it is. I, I don't do that because that is not the real solution that we need. They have the role they play. They have their dimension. It is good. It is it means that. But if you want collective total emancipation, but money mm. said that. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves could free our minds. And I'm doing it. So I said, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome, sir. Thank you for please watch and share with somebody. Don't be angry. Share with your pastor and ask him the questions. Bye for now.